A common question about OpenMRS3 is, is it responsive? Does it work across multiple different types of devices, like a desktop, a laptop, or a tablet? And the answer is yes. Let's look at how that works. I'm going to show you some designs, and then I'm going to show you what we already have in the live reference application for OpenMRS3. So as you can see in our designs, you may have seen screenshots like this before. This is one of our desktop designs. However, what you might not know is that all of these desktop designs were originally first tablet-based designs. Throughout our 3.x design process, we have had a philosophy of designing tablet first. And the reason for that is that it's known in UX research that typically if you design for desktop first, then later on, you end up kind of having user experience debt, that you have to refigure out how things should look in order to accommodate tablet-based workflows. So we started with all of our designs being tablet first, and gradually we've made sure that we has, have desktop coverage as well. But there's actually three different use cases you should know about. Um, your site might have small tablets that some of your team members use. You might also have small laptops that some folks use. And you might also have large, wide desktop monitors. We've accounted for all three of these scenarios. So for example, if we go back to our desktop view, you can see a couple standard conventions here for the 3.x application. We have our patient chart navigation on the left here. We have our chart body here in the middle, and we have our action column here on the right, also known as the side rail. Well, when we go back to tablet mode, you'll notice two major things. This side rail on the right and this left navigation are going to change a little. The left navigation gets turned into this hamburger menu, which you can open in order to navigate through the patient chart. But that side rail that you saw on the right becomes this bottom bar so that it's really easy, even while using a tablet, to go back to a form you were working on or an order you were working on without having to click around the whole patient chart. But what about smaller laptops? Well, that's why we have the small desktop designs. You'll notice we're trying to make the most of a small screen's real estate by removing the left navigation from being so present. So here we have the left navigation being open by default on a wide screen, but on a smaller desktop screen, like a small laptop, it turns into the hamburger menu as well. When you open a form, what happens? Let's look at some examples. For example, if I go to order a drug in a big desktop, you'll notice uh, this, this action panel here gets expanded into our workspace. On a smaller desktop, the same thing is true, but we've collapsed this left navigation so that the user is still able to browse the areas of the patient chart, like their past medications, so that they have helpful information on hand while they're compiling their order. On a tablet, the order form comes up immediately in front of the user like this. So we're trying to make the most of the screen real estate from the beginning. Another example is uh, a visit note. So here's an example on a large desktop. You can see once again, we've got the left navigation and the side rail has our workspace here as well as the body of the chart. The small desktop, the left navigation is collapsed. Uh, we can still access it by clicking the hamburger menu, but we still have the screen real estate that we need. And the same is true on the tablet. The visit note becomes the focus. And if we don't want to look at that right now, we can collapse it again so that we see something like this. And we can go back to our order, note, or form anytime by clicking one of these handy buttons. Well, enough looking at designs. Let's look at what we already have today as of February 2022. What I'm showing you right now is the real OpenMRS demo app. Here you can see that if I make my screen smaller, you'll notice that it will change. So right away, we saw that the left navigation uh, hit itself. I can access it again if I want to with no problem. If I want to record vitals, no worries. That will uh, well, actually here, better yet, let me show you. Uh, we can change our screen from being in desktop mode to iPad mode. And I'm going to choose iPad mini because that's most similar to some of the smaller tablets that are actually used in the field. As you can see, we still need to implement the bottom rail bar with the new UI. This is one of our previous um, user interface elements, which we're replacing with that bottom bar. Hope that helps. Happy to answer any questions. Reach out to us in the 3.x squad.